Hi there, Simon from Sterling Coaching and welcome to this week's Monday's Moment in which I'm going to conclude my conversations about creating personal plans. And I'm going to focus today on anxiety and stress triggers. See you in a moment. For many people, today as I record this is very, very difficult. We're coming in England to the end of a national lockdown. People are feeling very anxious, very stressed about the plans for Christmas. And this made me think about the way in which when I've created personal plans in the future, I've always recognised what I call stress triggers. Now, I've done lots of interviews over the last 12 months uh, about suicide awareness and mental health awareness. And all of this is really important, particularly for us that are in business, because very often we get told, well, you know, you own your own business. You've got to expect to be stressed and to be anxious. Well, I disagree with that. You know, whilst I suppose the being in business can be stressful, I don't think we have to accept that. So when we're looking at our personal plans and creating our personal plans, who we're building relationships with, remember those four pillars, you know, what activities and achievements, what um, rituals and what wealth that we're looking at, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're looking after ourselves. And I think about these stress triggers. I think about the things as I look through the plan. Is there anything there that actually uh, worries me? Am I putting anything into my plan that is causing me stress is, even as I do that? Because if, if you are doing that, then that's a good trigger that your plans need changing. So think about those triggers as you're actually writing out your personal plans. Also, as I work through those plans, I'm going to be looking at the, the triggers. I'm going to be looking at something that perhaps is making me feel uptight that is making me concerned or worried, that's getting me to start to think about what could happen if I do things in a certain way. So as I work through the plan, I want to be looking for those triggers as well, because I need to do two things. I need to be looking after myself as I work through the plan, but also I need to be adapting the plan. I need to make things better and more adaptive so that when I'm actually working through the plan, I can work around these triggers that I'm feeling. Um, also, as I'm working through my personal plan, I need to look for how it's affecting other people around me. Very often in personal plans, we get consumed about ourselves and how we're working through the plans. But actually what we don't look at and what we don't consider are how our plans are affecting those people around us, those closest to us, those perhaps in the relationships that we're starting and working on as part of that plan. So have a look and make sure that you're not triggering stress or anxiety by working through your plans on other people. Okay, that's really, really important. And the other thing I want just to share in this Monday's moment is, you know, what are the triggers? Now, when I'm uh, working through my plans, whether they're business plans or personal plans, what I recognize as my triggers that I'm getting stressed and perhaps the scales are starting to tip too much the other way is tiredness. Now, that's one of my, yeah, I finished the end of the day and at half past six, seven o'clock, I'm already feeling tired. And that's not because uh, of lack of exercise or lack of hydration. I know there's a feeling in me when anxiety is building, stress is building because I'm feeling overtired. Also, I lack concentration. I find myself stumbling over my words. I find myself having to think too much before I say something. Or if I'm going down a list of tasks to do, I, I start to wander off. Okay? Very often when we're stressed, our mind really, really starts to wander because it's trying to do too many things at one time. Another one is not to be able to take steps, to be indecisive. That's a really good sign that I'm stressed because I'm the worry, the anxiety is preventing me from making decisions. So if I'm not able 
to move forward, if I'm not able to take the next step, I'm not able to make a decision, that's another trigger for me. So three real good things there that you know you need to create your own. They might be different for you, uh, but you need to recognize what these stress triggers are and how they can be even when you create the plan, as you work through the plan, or how they affect others. Now, normally, I would have a call to action and go and send you off to do some assessment, but I've got a very strong call to action today. I want you to start talking to people. I want you to take some time to have a chat, share how you feel with somebody, determine who that person is. We've talked about that before, you know, make sure it's the right person, but just talk to someone. Yeah, it's very good to unload and to, to share things by relieving that burden through conversation with other people. So my call to action this week is just stop, take some time, work out who to have a chat with and have that conversation, have that chat and either help them or help yourself, particularly if you're feeling those stress triggers as you work for your one page personal plan. Uh, it's the last day of the month. So next month, I'm going to be talking about a whole set of different things. I hope this series, which is really the first time I've ever done a full series on personal planning has been of use. If you've missed any recordings, please go back uh, and watch them. I'd love you to watch all of the series on creating personal plans. And I'll see you in next week's Monday's Moment. Bye for now.